maestro John Ferrer will leave the Bakersfield Symphony the same way he arrived. I remember the program. It was uh, the Wagner Meistersinger Prelude, which we're going to do Saturday night. It was November 1970. Ferrer was a guest conductor for a performance at Harvey Auditorium, which was home to the symphony at that time. Just five years later, he returned to the podium for the start of a 39-year run and nearly 1,000 concerts. The orchestra is now playing on such a high level that ev everything is enjoyable. And, and, and uh, people ask me, well, what my, what's my favorite piece of music? Truly, my favorite piece of music is whatever I'm working on now. <laughs> During his time, Ferrer was instrumental in the creation of numerous community events, like the annual Nutcracker Ballet with the Civic Dance Company and the Brown Bag Concerts. But he says the young people's concert is one of the most important. I always have the feeling that there could be a young Mozart sitting out there in the audience who's going to be stimulated and inspired by, by what we do. An interest in the symphony has fluctuated a bit through the years. The operating budget was just $35,000 when Ferrer arrived and rose to more than a million at its crescendo, with more than 40 shows a year. The symphony isn't as busy these days, but Ferrer says he believes the future is bright. The 72-year-old conductor says the decision to step down was orchestrated some time ago, but he will continue working as music director of the Roswell Symphony in New Mexico and the Santa Maria Philharmonic. His final performance will be here at Rabobank Convention Center tomorrow night at 7.30 with two pieces from his first performance at Harvey Auditorium back in 1970. It's a musical way of coming full circle after nearly four decades. Mike Hart, 23ABC.